Welcome to an introduction to using Uniface with standard industry standard tools, in particular an industry standard editor like Eclipse. Now I'm going to run through this really quickly. Using Uniface, your source code is normally stored in a database. With UD6, the database is text files. Everything else works just the same. The text files have all sorts of formatting information, so we can make it very XML-y to splat. So we got this question asked on LinkedIn, what should the new IDF look like? And I wondered, maybe we can do it right now using Eclipse with no changes needed. We just need to reimagine these things stored, displayed in an Eclipse type way. All put together, still seeing the inheritance, context sensitive help done the Eclipse kind of way. We load the text files, we display it how a Uniface programmer would expect, display the declarative definitions with inheritance, display the diagramming, and then be able to save it out to a text file. You compile it just using the command line, run from within the IDE. This is 88 hours work that we've spent on this. It's a very, very tiny amount of work. It's just a little introduction to see what's possible and to see how interested people are in it. So let's just fire up the IDF here using UD6, have a look at a sample form. There we can see the form. The IDF works. This is the IDF 9601. It works exactly like you would expect it to. But the source code is in text files. Now we're going to fire up our UD6 IDE. Now this is just an introduction, there's lots in here that doesn't work yet and that's not perfect, but we just want to show off what we've done. So we can see that you can navigate the triggers, but you can also see all the triggers in one window. Now that paint tableau is obviously artificial, we've not gotten to that yet. And the properties of the declarative items would be down the bottom there. Procedural in one window, all the declarative in another. If you want to look at an individual trigger, you can do that as well. Now, just to prove that this all hangs together, we're going to change this comment in the execute trigger, hit the save button, switch back to the IDF, making a change in here will automatically cause it to reload. There's a message down the bottom saying it's reloaded and we can see it there. Thank you very much for watching. For more information, come see our presentations that are happening through March, April and May, March in the US, April and May in Europe. We'd love to talk to you more about Uniface, Uniface source code in text files and the Eclipse IDE. Thank you.